So the other day, I was building in Minecraft, and people always want to make their houses look very realistic to the actual real world. So I started building my house, and I thought this would be a good idea because I know how to make a pretty good kitchen. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to make a good kitchen in Minecraft so you guys can do it in your next creative world or in your actual survival world if you're that cool. So uh, hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into it. All right, so now one of the first thing that people usually do when they build a kitchen is we'll start with the sitting bar that people can sit at, which is not, ah, which usually people don't really sit at, but it looks like you could sit at it. So what you want to do is usually what people do is they will put two, or like they'll just put the chairs right here. And you can do that, but it doesn't look that great. And it doesn't give you that look of what a person would need leg room for. Because we need legroom. So what you would want to do is you want to put carpet down. You can put you can put any color carpet that goes with your kitchen. I just chose this color because it goes with my white floors and my uh, backsplash. Um, so what you want to do is depending on what color your ground is, you want to get almost the same color or gray. Just kind of just get just get a carpet color that matches just with yours. And you want to go back to whatever you, carpet color you used up here and place it on top of the carpet on the floor giving that look of that there's leg room for the people who are sitting there and so you'd want to put the chairs down you can put however many chairs you want i usually like to do, do two so it looks like i have area to walk and i mean it doesn't work super great <laughs> for actually sitting but you know who actually sits at these so this is a good way to actually make what your bar would be if in your minecraft world all right so next up what you want to do is you want to work more in the kitchen what I like doing is I like using, um, I like making some sort of vent looking thing above tables that looks a little bit more professional. For me, I'm either, I'm going to use the, um, smooth quartz slab. Uh, you can use whatever color kind of matches with your flooring. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go and to get to your stone fence, look up stone fencing and you want to get the cobblestone wall or actually no, it's not a fence, it's a wall. I'm stupid. Get your walls out and you want to place however many up to the ceiling of your kitchen. Now you want to make this a little bit more even unlike I did because I kind of made this bad. But since it's attached to the wall, I just did it like that. And then now it kind of looks like a vent or looks more like a, uh, a bar area. I don't know. It just kind of makes it look more like a kitchen. Makes it look like you got this little window you can see into the kitchen. So now next up is you want to make the countertops. Um, I'm going to make the counters behind out of iron block because that's what I'm pretty much using for everything else in my kitchen. And you basically you want to use the same kind of carpet you used up here on top of your uh, countertops. Um, so this is basically your countertops. Counter uh, the next thing you probably want to do is make your oven. Which is pretty simple. You want to just destroy two areas of block. You want to get your furnace and replace it like that. And you'll want to put the furnace in like so. Now you want to go to here and look up glass. And you want to get the, um, I think it's the, is it the gray stained glass or the black stained glass. I'm not absolutely sure. I just want to see once I put it in. You can use like at this point you can kind of use whichever one it doesn't really matter I think I'm going to use the black ah, black glass just because it makes it look a little bit more furnacey so the so to finally top off your um, oven area you want to find the sea lanterns and you'll want to replace it with something you're not using and this gives off the look of light but you can place that and it kind of muffles the light now this gives a good look of, this is a good way to show off your oven. So now the next thing you want to do is you want to make your cabinets, because every kitchen has cabinets. So you want to use whatever your floor is to make your cabinets. Um, leave two spaces above above the ovens, because we're going to make a uh, ventilation system for that. And you just kind of go to the over all over your countertops. And you want to make this too wide, just because, well, we need a lot of cabinet space. Now above, over here, you want to leave this one open. Okay, yeah, so in this case, you want to use your two trap doors, and this gives the look of kind of a vent over your, what well, it's going to be our sink. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go to redstone or whatever. You want to get your tripwire hook, and you want to get your tripwire hooks and put them down to look like faucets. Now, you will have to destroy two of your carpets to actually put this in, but it'll make it look like, um sinks 
Now to finish off with the furnace, you'll want to get your smooth uh, stone or your polished and the smith and stuff. <laughs> and you actually want to destroy the wall behind it just so it kind of looks more realistic and looks like a ventilation system. Now above that, you'll want to put these two stone slabs to kind of give it that look of a furnace. Because if you do, you won't be able to actually do that. So yeah, you just you just want to do that. It may it gives that look of where vents would be if you had like steam or something coming up, and you just want you just don't want that in your kitchen. So now the next thing is you want to get some buttons, and you just want to place them not around everywhere, but just kind of make it look like cabinets, like so. And hope that it not rain doesn't rain. Um, and now the other thing that looks really good as cabinet doors is uh, you want to get an item frame and you want to get snow. So now you want to get these item frames and you want to place them down and turn the snow inside of it until it makes cabinet doors like that. Now maybe not that high, just because no one can actually get a cabinet that that's high up. So maybe you want to do it like right around here on your cabinets to your left and if you need to you can make more cabinets just because however many cabinets you want to suffice to your cabinet needs now to finish off your kitchen you'll probably want to put a roof on it uh, you can put whatever kind of roof you want just because well the roof doesn't really matter as long as it kind of goes with the whole theme of your kitchen so now that our kitchen's done um, you can see that these two kind of light up the kitchen a little bit but you'll still need some torches or whatever you want to use as actual Lighting, you can put some torches wherever you really want. You can put one up there just so it's a little bit out of the way. Up there maybe and over there in that corner. So now if you want, you can make the bar just a little bit longer. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to fill in these two blocks right or that block right there. I think I'm going to make this bar just a little bit longer like that. Just so there's less room for you can actually get in the kitchen. So now another thing that actually makes the kitchen look a lot well too or really good too is you can make the, um, the bar too wide. Just so that it gives it that extra distance between you and, well, the customers of the uh, house or kitchen or whatever. So now, this is pretty much all you can, or this is pretty much my t end of my tutorial on how to make a really good kitchen in Minecraft. Um, there are other videos out there that you can watch that will have other ideas that you can use to make. But this is pretty much the basic good looking kitchen, especially for creative mode because it's really easy to get all this stuff in creative mode. You just press tab and you get everything you want. So, if you liked it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, make sure to flip out the like button if you want to see more Minecraft stuff. And make sure you turn the bell if you're new. And, uh, yeah, maybe we'll do some more Minecraft tutorials. And uh, thank you guys, and I'll see you dudes in the next one. See ya.